Chef Ashok, what's going on? What are you cooking over here? Hey, Chef Jonathan. How are you, man? That looks delicious. I'm good. How's it, it going? Is, it is delicious. So I'm cooking uh, something new today. Okay. It's new recipe? Cloud SQL High Cloud Availability. Mmm. Gluten-free? It is a very simple recipe. Okay. It is gluten-free. Yes. Very tasty. Yeah. And uh, low calories. That sounds right. delicious. But high energy, man. That's good. All right. Yes. Well, you got five minutes the to talk stirring? about. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's five hot. minutes. It's hot. All right. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Five and... minutes. Let's see what Cloud SQL High Availability looks Absolutely, like. Absolutely, mate. All right. Uh, this is Google Cloud Platform, uh, the uh, the landing page. I'm going into Google Cloud SQL. So it's under storage. And uh, SQL. So what I've done is I've already deployed a MySQL instance with HA enabled. And I've also deployed a App Engine application that sits on top of this uh, MySQL uh, uh, database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger a failover, and then uh, there'll be a you know, blackout period during which the failover uh, instance becomes the master, and the uh, and the new failover instance is created in a new zone, and then we'll see uh, how the application responds. Sounds good. Right. Uh, so this is my master database, uh, which is in US uh, Central One C master instance, and then the failover instance is in US Central One A. So I'm going to trigger a failover. Uh, before I do that, let me just quickly go to the MySQL, uh, uh, the uh, WordPress application that I've deployed on the MySQL database. Beautiful so it's website. Up and running. Oh, yeah, it's my great WordPress site. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to trigger failover. So this is a manual way of triggering the failover. Uh, in the real world, uh, maybe the zone, uh, uh, if it goes down, or there's some access issue uh, where your instance is not able to, uh, 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 you know, you're not able to connect to your instance, then the failover is automatically triggered, and the failover becomes the master. Okay. Right, I'm going to trigger the failover. So there will be a blackout period, as I said. Uh, it's a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the site now, uh, you'll get an error. We'll re revisit this uh, again. All right. So while that's happening, let me go ahead and show how to create a MySQL instance with uh, HA enabled. It's as easy as clicking on this button here, selecting the flavor of the database. So we currently support MySQL and PostgreSQL. So I'm going to go with MySQL. I'm going to select uh, second generation, which is faster, better. Uh, than the previous generation. Give it a name, MySQL WordPress demo. Uh, just generate a random password. US Center is fine. And now to enable HA, it's as easy as going in here and then checking this checkbox. One checkbox. One checkbox. That's great. Yep. Yeah. That's easy. So what this does is it'll create a failover replica in a different zone mm -hmm. uh, than uh, to that of the master, right? And then. Uh, that's about it. Click on Create. That was easy. So can you talk a little bit about what happens when you create this uh, highly, I guess, uh, this other instance? It's syncing data. Yeah. So what happens is this creates a failover uh, instance in a new uh, region. So if you look at the already deployed uh, 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 instance, you would see that US Central 1B had the master and US Central 1A had the uh, failover replica. Mm. So all your uh, reads and writes go to the master. Uh, under normal circumstances. And in the event uh, something happens to the zone where your uh, instance is deployed or your instance itself becomes uh, unreachable for whatever reasons, then the failover uh, becomes the master and all the read-write requests gets uh, you know, transferred over there. Got it. Now, a failover instance is totally different uh, than a read replica. right? So you create read replicas in MySQL database for increasing read throughput. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, read replicas alone will not give you high availability. So high availability is only uh, when you have a failover replica created. Right. So read replica really just improves performance. And it helps. just improves the read performance. Yeah. Right. So you don't have write capability. So in the event a master goes down uh, uh, in a setup where you have a master and a read replica, and uh, the master goes down, then you just have the read replicas uh, with stale data mm -hmm. that you can you know, ensure that your applications provide the read functionality. Right. But for write capability, you still need a master. Okay. And that you can get only with a failover Fail replica. Perfect. And I'll show how easy it is to create a read replica. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just click on this button here and select this button uh, uh -huh. option, okay. create read replica. So it's after you've created the MySQL instance, and even after you've created the failover, then within that environment, you can basically yeah. right-click there. So for it. the read replica, all you need is a master database. So failover, you don't create okay. a read replica on the failover. Sure. Uh, but yeah, you would need a database created uh, to create a read replica. Easy enough. It's uh, absolutely easy. So let's see uh, what's happening to our uh, failover. So I just refreshed my screen. There you go. Nice. 
So if I go back and uh, check at my uh, instances, my uh, so this is basically syncing. Uh, mm -hmm. So but if you look at the zone, US Central One B had the failover uh, replica earlier. Oh, so no, now that the became the master. Okay. And uh, US Central One C had the master, but then uh, the failover is now uh, in is in US Central One A. So which technically means that US Central One C uh, had an issue, so the failover got triggered. So the new failover instance is getting created in a different zone. Got it. Well, you're just out of time. Do you have any last thoughts? Uh, so what I would say is uh, go try out uh, Cloud SQL uh, uh, service on uh, Google Cloud Platform. Documentation is great, and there are great examples. Thank you, Chef Ashok. That was delicious. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Hope it was healthy. Yes, healthy. Thank you.